And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And this is the verse that really jumped out at me. Many will be offended. Just think about how people are offended today. Oh, there's a great offense in everything you say. You can't say things the way we were taught to say them. You can't use words we were taught to use. There's such a great offense in everything now. Sure, and in, in the politics now, you have the House of Representatives and the Congress. They, they've decided that it's no longer okay to call people sons and daughters and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and all these things. And we even had a guy that's a Christian minister, uh, so-called, that ended a prayer in amen and a woman. And amen has, is not a gendered word. It has nothing to do with men. It only means, you know, so be it. Right. You know, it only means that I agree or it's in, in being in an agreement yeah. with. It has nothing to do with men or women. Mm -hmm. And yet you got people that are so worried about offending someone that they're going to come up with some crazy thing like that. And, uh, and they so, don't realize woman has man in it. <laughs> right. And so it just it doesn't... Uh, it just it goes downhill from there. And but, there's such a hatred going on. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's that last part of that scripture, and shall hate one another, there's right. so much hatred, so many people betraying one another. Well, right now in our country, if a person's on the political left, they hate you and they have assumptions about you, and there's nothing that you can say to change that. Right. They can't even listen to anything you have to say because you're not on their side already. Yeah. Just by being a Christian, mainly. Well, or, you know, let's say, you know, well, you voted for Trump, and so now I am extremely offended. Yeah. And, uh, and not so, not just a little bit offended, but offended to the degree where I'm going to cancel your entire life. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to get a job. You shouldn't be able to uh, have a place in polite society anymore. You should be considered a traitor. Yep. And this is half of America against the other half. That's right. That, you know, that you betray one another, hate one another. We see this happening. We see people betraying each other, uh, you know, regardless of what side of, of a political divide they might be on or what side of the Christian divide they might be on. For example, we have many people that are supposed to be ministers in our Congress today. That Warnock from Georgia. Uh, he believes that abortion is a perfectly, uh, mm -hmm. you know, copacetic with what's going on. He thinks that being a, uh, that it's okay to be an abortionist and to be a Christian, and somehow that you can back this up with the Bible. And this puts Christians against one another. If, uh, you know, if I want to get on Facebook and say something of a Christian nature, I can very well offend a lot of people that claim they are Christians on Facebook because I said something that doesn't go with their brand of Christianity. You know, in uh, the United States, or our great America was uh, discovered and established for freedom rights, because they didn't have any freedom rights where they came from, so they came here to create freedom. Well, a lot of and it... And a lot of our freedoms being taken away. Sure, uh, an awful lot of it was because of uh, persecution in England by the Church of England over, you know, England went back and forth between being Protestant and being Catholic. And which side of that divide you fell on might cost you your life. It may end up, you may end up getting burned at the stake or something like that. Depending upon which the royalty, whether they be Catholic or whether they be Protestant, you had big problems if you were on the wrong side of that divide. And so many people decided, well, let's just go to America and that way we're going to say whether you're a Catholic, whether you're a Protestant, <laughs> Uh, we're not going to, uh, you know, burn you at the stake. Right, right. And so, uh, these kind of things, you know, shall betray uh -huh. one another, shall hate one another. We see this in our society more and more as the time goes by, and I think it truly is a sign of the time that uh, it just, uh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> our poopy, I yeah, need a little puppy. The puppy is upset about something. He wants he us to have, he give his attention, yeah. our attention to him. <laughs> yeah, it's important stuff, Hershey. You need to be listening. Yep. You never can tell. This so anyway, this goes on in verse eleven. Says and for and many sh prof false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. There is a great deception going on right now. I mean, it's been going on for a long time, but it's since, it's getting worse and mm -hmm, worse. It is things being uh, said in the name of Christianity today. Uh, 
you know, we have a, a president now that's, you know, pro-abortion and all these different things. He says, yeah, but, but I'm a Catholic. I'm a Christian. All right. So the point uh, that we're getting at here is that we really have, uh, we really live in a, the time when uh, we can see things unfolding. We can see prophecy unfolding to a higher degree than we've ever seen it before. Uh, not just out of nature, not just the world crying out in itself as a planet, but people are doing exactly these things and behaving in exactly the same ways that we see Matthew 24 talk about. How people will be offended, how they'll betray one another, and how they'll hate one another. And we see that way more than we've ever seen it before. We, uh, we see a horrible lack of unity in our own nation, but also in our world. And uh, these are the things that make us say that we need to be turning to God, we need to be turning to Scripture, and we need to learn what's right. Uh, we need to learn it for ourselves, get into the Word. And uh, this is just uh, Barb and I's thoughts. And so we thought we'd uh, just share that with you. And I hope you have a great day, and God bless.